right, Cassandra, you can go ahead and choose your joint. Thank you so much, Katerina. And I would just like to say you are so beautiful. Thank you, and you are gorgeous. Thank you. I'm wearing a Sir Leo Almodel creation, actually. <laughs> very, very beautiful. <laughs> My judge is Miss Angelina Cruz. Good evening, Cassandra. Good evening, Miss Angelina. My question for you is, should the people within the LGBTQ plus community have the need to come out of the closet? Why or why not? With someone who has many friends in the LGBTQI plus community, I know their struggles because I've heard their stories. I respect that when they want to come out, it is their choice. I believe that as a straight cis woman, I should respect them and give them love and kindness. That is what the LGBTQI plus community needs, especially in this age. I want to empower them and embrace them with my love. And that's why I'm an exceptionally empowered Filipino. Thank you. Calling on our next candidate. Candidate number 34. Hello, Beatrice. You may choose your judge. Miss Dadlin Vera. Hi, guys. She was in my interview. <laughs> Hello, candidate 24. Hi, Miss Dadlin. Good evening. How's your night? Kind of nervous, but I'm so grateful that I have all of my family and friends here who came all the way from the provinces. <laughs> and actually, my mom isn't here to support me, so they really fill in the gap. My, you know, my mother being in the States right now. Okay, that's good. There is my question. Do you agree that we should tax the rich even more to help the country rebound from the pandemic? So, can you ask the question again, Ms. Daniel? Do you agree that we should tax the rich even more to help the country rebound from the pandemic? Definitely. I think Am I right, the rich? I think these are people who are on businesses, who have successful ones, and I think they should be taxed as high as they can to help the people who are in need, especially through the pandemic. I think it's really concerning for them, it should be concerning for them that they should contribute to the economy, to the people around them, instead of just focusing on their own businesses and their own pleasure and interest. And so with that, I think that they should be taxed higher so that they could help their fellow citizens. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 34. Now calling on candidate number 13. Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. It's an honor to be sharing the stage with a fellow philosophy major. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited for your answer, particularly actually. So you can go ahead and choose your judge. All right. I wonder which one it's going to be. <laughs> okay, Ingrid. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I technically picked your question. Your Judge Maria is Dr. Shanae Marie Gagafria Monar. Hello again, Doc. Hi, hi, Maria. So my question for you is, how is a bill seeking to grant a five-day mental wellness leave to workers essential for both employees and their employers? Yeah. A mental health illness is just the same as any illness. As you mentioned, in our mental health talk a few days ago. I think it's very important that as ambassadors of goodwill, as beauty queens, and perhaps as the next Miss World Philippines, we have to help spread awareness for the fact 
that mental illness is just like any illness and should be treated with just as much urgency. So yes, it is completely valid for us to now accept the fact that one can have a mental health leave. In fact, places all over the world have made room for more open and honest conversations about what it means to be more human. Like in Spain, for example, we now have a, a leave for women who are on their periods. It is high time that we recognize that we are only human. And only then can we make a better world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maria. And let's call on our last candidate, candidate number 70. Hello, Ingrid. How are you feeling? Good. I'm so happy to be here, Katya, and I'm really excited for this journey to finally come to an end, to finally meet the new queens, and just to be able to share a piece of my mind with the world. All right, so we have your final judge. Would you like to take that? <laughs> or for Malati? And we have Mr. Harold Heronimo as your judge. Good evening, Ingrid. Good evening. We saved the best for last. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very timely question. How do you think can we unite as a people under one flag after a very divisive elections? To be able to unite as a people, we need to remember that we are working toward one common goal. And that common goal is to make our nation a better place, is to develop our nation, is to support our communities, and is to grow our culture and our heritage. No matter what our political beliefs are, no matter what our religion is, we should all remember to start with respect. We should respect each individual, whether or not we agree with their sentiments, and then we can be able to learn how to be united, how to work towards a common goal, and how to create a better world. Woo!